Hi friends, Christopher Hobbs, and I want to talk about Andrographis or Andrographis paniculata in the Acanthaceae family, the Acanthus family. It, it's mainly tropical. It grows around the world in tropical areas these days. Very important uh, Chinese herb and also an herb that's used in Ayurveda and increasingly in other parts of the world. Here you're seeing a composite picture, and in the upper left is a little plant in a pot, in the right a little shoot, and then you're also seeing the flowers and the pods and the seeds. And the seeds, uh, once they ripen up, the plant really produces a lot of these pods of these fruits. It's pretty sparsely leafed, actually. The, the seeds are rather hard to germinate, and uh, not impossible, though. So... Uh, you can germinate them and grow them, even if they're growing in a cold climate as an annual. They won't take a freeze, definitely, but you can grow them as annuals, as I have a number of times before. Here's a close-up of the flower, rather pretty, but very tiny. Um, and here is some of the dried herb. In my clinical and personal experience, this is one of the most important herbs for fighting infections. In Chinese medicine, it is known as Xuan Xin Leon, and it is also widely used in Ayurveda. And it's an important herb for Western clinical herbalists today. It really has become very, very popular worldwide, and you can get many different types of supplements. One thing is I recommend not using it in tincture form. I'm going to put a few drops of the extract I made here. And it is so incredibly bitter that you just do, do not want it in that form. So what I recommend is just using it in tablet form. That is absolutely the best way. It's coated and you can't taste that bitter taste. It's just outrageous. In Chinese medicine is known also uh, to be cold and bitter in nature in, in the energetics. The dose is 6 to 15 grams a day, but if you're taking an extract you can it would be a lot less than that, probably two tablets twice daily is what I use of this tablet. And um, it is, uh, so it clears heat and infections, and it resolves toxicity. So if you have boils or anything like that where there is an infection of the skin or inside the body, that is really one of the go-to herbs. The clinical trials and clinical uh, current clinical experience in herbal practice shows that it is an indispensable herb for treating infections of all kinds. And laboratory studies show that the herb extract can inhibit the growth of COVID even, and so it has become really a go-to herb in COVID natural protocols. I use it with elderberry syrup, reishi powder in the morning, twice or twice a day, uh, and ivy tips for clearing phlegm along with thyme herb as my main protocol. When I had COVID, that's the protocol I used, and it worked absolutely incredibly. And uh, also throughout the cold and flu season, this is my go-to. Thanks for watching.